So in my previous video, which was about um, hydrogen bonding, I explained that in there I would make a video specifically about the trends which we can see between these hydrogen bonded molecules. So the H2O being having a higher, higher boiling point than HF and HF having a higher boiling point than NH3. So in order to answer or, or in order to actually take a, take a good look at, at the reason behind this, what I'm going to do is go back to the diagrams I have of these molecules up here and figure out the ratios between the lone pairs and the number of hydrogen atoms because when hydrogen bonds form, they form between a hydrogen atom and a lone pair. So it's, it's very important that there's a good ratio between these, uh, ideally maybe one to one ratio so that each hydrogen can form a hydrogen bond and maximize the number of the, the amount of bonds so that that molecule that that um the, the that sample of the molecule has a high boiling point oh my last video just finished anyway so going back to this so if we actually take a look at first of all this h2o the water and we compare the number of hydrogen atoms to the number of lone pairs right so if we actually do that so we've got two hydrogen atoms to um, for every two lone pairs. And if we simplify this ratio, we've got a one to one ratio. One to one. So one hydrogen for one lone pair. And that means that every single hydrogen in this molecule is maximized for in terms of in terms of bonding. Every single one partakes in hydrogen bonding because we have an equal number of lone pairs and hydrogen bonds since um, when the hydrogen bonds occur, they occur between a hydrogen atom and a lone pair. So now if we take a look at the ammonia, the ammonia which I have here, and we look at this same ratio, so hydrogen, so we've got, we've got three hydrogen atoms for every one lone pair. So one lone pair. So in this molecule, what we're, we're probably going to notice is that each of these molecules is only really going to form one bond, one, one, um, well, not one hydrogen bond, but this would form a hydrogen bond to a hydrogen. And this, this, I mean, this would form a hydrogen bond to a lone pair, and this would form a hydrogen bond to a hydrogen, but we've only got really two, two of these, um, two, 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 two hydrogen bonds per molecule. And that's not really good because we've got we've still got hydrogens here which are not taking part in that since we don't have enough lone pairs for that to happen now if we now go and take a look at this hydrogen fluoride right uh we've got a similar situation but in this case it's sort of flipped so in this case what we have is that hydrogen has uh well we've got one looking at the ratio we've got one hydrogen and we've got uh three lone pairs so in this particular case what we have is we've got loads of lone pairs and not enough hydrogens to bond to each of those lone pairs so for each of these molecules okay maybe the hydrogen will bond to a fluorine somewhere a fluorine lone pair over here somewhere but this fluorine is probably only going to bond to one hydrogen um, atom on average and so that's not really a, a balanced ratio so it's not going to really maximize what it has to 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 get a really high boiling point, and this is this is this is quite significant when it comes to boiling points, and so now if we compare it, we've got that this one fully maximizes the uh, all of the all of the um, hydrogen bonding components in the molecule. So we've got the lone pairs which are both used, and these two hydrogens which are both used. So this can basically form. If we compare it with the ratio, if we use the ratio, like we would, since each one has two hydrogen atoms, this will probably only form, this would form a one bond, this would form a bond, and this would form a bond, and this would form a bond. So we've got four hydrogen bonds per molecule of water, which is going to obviously give it quite a high boiling point, since hydrogen bonds are difficult to break. And this for this one, for this night um, ammonia molecule we've got that this nitrogen is probably going to form maybe one bond with a hydrogen atom since it's one lone pair and then a hydrogen atom 
forming that hydrogen bond. And looking at the ratio, each of these three, uh, there's only going to be one lone pair for these three hydrogens. So maybe one of them, maybe one of them is going to form a bond. So we'd have two, two hydrogen bonds per molecule. And if we go to the hydrogen fluorine again, the same thing is going to happen. So we're going to probably have one hydrogen bond here. So this is going to bond to a lone pair. And, but it's not going to really be enough hydrogens to bond to all of those lone pairs since each molecule only has one hydrogen. So maybe one of these lone pairs would bond to a hydrogen. And so we'd have two hydrogen bonds per molecule. And so if you actually compare this, we can see that we've got two hydrogen bonds here, um, two hydrogen bonds here, whereas here we've got four hydrogen bonds per molecule. So that sort of explains the, well, that sort of explains this, this trend which we have here, H2O then HF, then NH3. And HF has a higher, higher boiling point than NH3. Now, the reasons for this, I think have to do with the fact that fluorine, right? Fluorine is much more electronegative than um, hydrogen compared to the electronegativity between hydrogen and nitrogen. And nitrogen is still more quite significantly more electronegative than hydrogen, but fluorine is more electronegative. So I think what happens is the polarization which occurs which uh, in terms of the 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 polarization of this high these hydrogen atoms here i think that the, the the hydrogen bonds formed between the hydrogens in this molecule are going to be slightly slightly weaker than the hydrogen bond, bonds formed with this molecule since fluorine is more electronegative so i think that that would that would sort of explain um that part of the trend so yeah i hope you guys um found this video helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video.